Hi Taurus, and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. This is a general reading that could help any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. So uh, hopefully you find something helpful here. We'll take a look at the messages and energies uh, for October to help you plan accordingly. So we have the star, Major Arcana. We have the Queen of Swords, and we have Temperance, Major Arcana as well. So we have three strong, the presence of three strong people here. The Star, the Queen, and the Temperance um, woman as well. Person, you know, could be man or woman. So with the Star, we see her pouring the water into the pond. And the star is a card of finding the space to heal and perhaps to recover or to sort things out. The star, we often see the star after the challenges or the adversity that we faced. Uh, the star follows the tower in the major arcana. So the star, we, this sense of pouring the water from here and there, it's a sense of finding the flow. And it's uh, trying to establish like the connection between your physical self and your spiritual self, of making sure that both of them are in the right place. So with the star, you can see she's surrounded by stars. We look to the stars for hope. We look to the stars. We, we wish upon a star. We are guided by the stars. We romanticize the stars. They play an important part in our life. It's simply the wonder of looking up and seeing the stars. So when we are thinking about this heavenly presence of the stars, we think about hope and we think about optimism. And the message here is not so much of doing something, but it's the mindset of believing that believing everything is going to be okay and that you are going to be on the right path in whatever's happening in your life, whether it's relationship driven or career driven or other dynamics of the family or things that are happening, you may feel that you need to kind of catch up to yourself. And with the star, there's a sense here of just trust that the universe knows what it's doing. It's putting you in the right place. It's putting perhaps the better thoughts into your head. So have optimism, have belief in the outcome and in the future. Don't lose your hope. We saw hope yesterday as the Oracle card. So it's this, again, continuing idea of hope. So then we have the very, uh, very serious Queen of Swords who is holding this sword. She has her hand there as if, she's, as if she's saying, okay, you're next, let's talk about things. And with this queen, she's very sharp, very smart, no nonsense, no BS, gonna cut right to the issue, gonna get right to the facts, and isn't gonna dibble dabble or whatever, you know, forever to get to the point. It's gonna be very surgical. And that's, the beauty and the power of the sword, which is to look at your life from all angles and to be able to evaluate and to think about what's going on. So when, when, when we see the queen of swords, there's a sense here to say, use your, your smarts, use your reasoning as you are thinking about life and as you're trying to integrate and pull things together is to be wise, to be smart. Swords bring a sense of clarity and strong communication. So if you, are, uh, if, if you are having to talk to someone, be mindful of how you say things or articulate it. Uh, if you are sending out information, be mindful of how you're presenting it. Swords are powerful because they're sharp and that sharpness goes to sharpness of intellect, sharpness of mind. By the same token, sometimes this queen can be a little blunt 
And, you know, we, we run into that when someone maybe is trying to be, uh, give us constructive criticism and it just comes out a little funny and you're like, huh, were they giving me advice or were they knocking me? So that's kind of the other side that sometimes may show up with a powerful presence like the Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords, here we have temperance. And again, the action of the pouring of the flow. It looks like she has fire here. And there's a, a, the word integration is very much in alignment with temperance because you are trying to find the balance between all the elements within your life, physical, spiritual, emotional, mental, all everything. And sometimes we get out of whack. Sometimes we, we are exhausted, physically drained. And when we're physically drained, that impacts how we think or how we communicate with others. It impacts our energy levels to be, to be able to be a productive worker or to be efficient. So finding the balance in your life means finding the moderate path of not letting yourself getting to an extreme circumstance. And so you have to be present and you have to be mindful of what you're doing and you know what's going on and so maybe you need to pull back on certain parts of your life in order to like to achieve that that nice ratio maybe you need to add a little more of uh rest and recovery in order for yourself to to be in the right place to find the equilibrium for your life so you know adding and subtracting perhaps Here's clear thought, communication, right to the point, deal with the facts, no fooling around. And it could be a real strong message to yourself is to really think about how you're going to get yourself back in balance, to be decisive in how you're going to do it. And then the star, which is really the feeling inside that, you know, when I pull this all together here, then everything is going to be okay. I believe it. I know it. I'm trusting the universe to guide me. So interesting cards. Let's see if I can add these together today. So we have, we have 17 and 14, and that is going to be 31 and 32, and that reduces to five. Five is about challenges. It can be about conflict or adversity. Uh, it can be about the need to adapt. Also, new cycles. And then for an oracle card, I have, uh, this is a card focused on spirit. So let's see what we have for a spiritual message. Cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. And I have to say that's like right on for what we see today. So I hope that you found something meaningful and helpful with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a great day. I thank you for your time. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.